All right, teachable moments, guys. We're in a, um, a vehicle, but a different one. Aha. It's vibrating. Who turned it off? It is the... Um, oh, the truck is vibrating. The lighting's All right. Cool. And the lighting is pretty. Teachable moments. Let's do our introduction. Dalo. Dalo. Danny. Y'all know who she is. Dana. And I'm Danella. I'm their mama. Um, and today we're talking about what's going on in the world. Like, there is a massive, like... <laughs> uproar uproar there's a pandemic everyone knows it's it's not a secret that this virus is going around and it's taking over everybody's everyday routines it's, it's throwing everybody out of their normal yeah every day to day um and so i just want to talk about how we've been just what what we've been doing and maybe open up a dialogue for you guys wait look at my nose Marble. Girl, they gonna grow out because ain't no nail shops open. Ain't no nail shop. Oh, my, I had to take mine off. So, Dale, what have you been doing? Um, or what? What are your feelings? My feelings. Um, what do you specify? Like, what do you mean? Well, you just said something that you read. You just said something about what you read, or something about. I saw something oh, yeah. on um, Twitter and it was like, you know, our grandparents fought through wars at times like this and we're having a hard time sitting on the couch. Like, people are complaining about sitting on the couch. Like, yeah. you know, and honestly, I feel like people are being so selfish because you it's you, you have to get necessities. You need to get what you can get. Yeah, okay, whatever. Like, make it quick. But some, the people are outside doing stuff like having parties and stuff like that. And that's just so selfish. Because, spring break. Just because it's not, right, because it's spring break. But, but just because it's not affecting you, that's so selfish. Like, yeah. It's affecting so many other people. Danny, what do you think? I don't know. Just... I mean, y'all living it up right now. Y'all outside on the trampoline. <laughs> they, I had to drag them in here to do teachable moments because they're like bike riding. I just got a new bike and I've been riding it every day and I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what are you doing, Dyla? I feel like um, through every hard time, you have to like Find a stop and like, no. Well, yeah, but no. <laughs> pause and then like realize like this is your test of faith that you're aware yeah. of like this oh, is that's good. this is like that moment where he's like hey, you know, yeah this I is know. the this is the moment that you really need to be trusting god praying and trusting that you're not going to get the corona yeah, like yeah. it's serious but yeah. you're not gonna get and it, i feel like a lot of uh, people you know, we say that we talk about faith and we talk about, you know, a God, I'm, I'm trying to practice. But it's like y'all aren't practicing that because y'all are sitting here worrying and panicking and being frantic about an illness. Like, this, 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 did, did Jesus not, his stripes, not heal? Absolutely. <laughs> now, I want to say this. We're not downplaying yeah, the yeah. seriousness of this because we understand that it's serious. I yes, have a yes, mom yes, that, yes. that has stage four yeah. lung cancer. And so Corona is very serious because if we go out in public and bring something back. bring something back and dayla may not have symptoms mm -hmm. but it affects my mom different so we are very serious and very yeah. cautious but what we want to also be just as serious about is the fact that god is god over all things and, so all things. Things. and all if things. you trust him with your bills if you trust him when you've been diagnosed with if cancer you trust him to send your kids to school that's something if you trust him for school why can't you trust, him, can't you trust him in this and just be obedient the bible says obey the laws of the land and if they're saying hey just chill out everybody stay home for a moment then oh, why cannot we can, yeah. why can't we be on one <laughs> yeah, of the process i could have sworn everybody That's was good, complaining dude. about going out and there's the stresses of day to day this is your opportunity to chill out like this is what everybody yeah. wanted yeah you have so much you have time with your family i always say make lemons and i, I say that because make, make lemonade lemons, make no make lemons because make it's impossible lemons. to make lemons so you have to make a good situation out of something that's impossible and it seems impossible but you have to take something out of it you got to take a lesson yeah. out of it yeah. you can either take this two weeks to sit on right. your couch and be mad the whole time or you can make something good out of it learn something play basketball read a book yeah what you mad for get a new hobby get a new hobby yeah. Yeah. well i feel like the panic is doing more than the yes. actual corona it's like, the panic that the is panic doing more is, harm and hurt like, and i don't know if y'all know this but stress panic. actually kills, kills you a lot quicker. faster than oh, any type of disease yes. stress actually feeds the disease and i will say this and then i'll open the floor up for danny and dana to say something else but I actually think that this is a moment that God is it's a quieting the the room. God is actually quieting the the atmosphere and he's not just doing it in my household, he's doing it worldwide. And he's allowing people to do what's important, which is connect with family, which is um connect with him, 
um, and honor your elders, like respect them enough to allow them to go in the grocery store before you. Um, Stop show, fighting over tissue. Show compassion. Show like, compassion, like we're getting man. a chance to show compassion, and God is like, yo. I feel like you're gonna learn this lesson. You're gonna show some compassion. Yeah, I wrote a poem last night yeah. about did? this. Yeah, it's really no, good. I should like, probably read it. It's okay. It's a dirt dog. It's, okay. it's not a watch. It's, it's, not, it's, it's, and it's gone. It's not gonna hurt. There you, you go. All yeah. right. Sorry. We're in the country. So um, dang, I forgot what I was saying. I was saying that in a poem. poem. Oh, I was saying that you know, throughout generations and generations, you would think that people would learn mm -hmm. a little more humanity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like we're growing and we're, we're people, we're, we have more people in the world. Time is moving and we're losing humanity. Like, yeah, nobody's, we're not treating each other like we should be. Like, yeah. it's so crazy. You would just think that Sorry. kids aren't in school. So many people depend on school lunch to feed their kids. Yeah. And we're going to grocery stores and buying everything out of the stores. Like, how is that affecting other people? Yeah. I feel like or also, what about homeless people? Like, they, if we can't get the stuff we need, how, how are they getting the stuff that they need? Like, right. so situations selfish. like this really show how, like, childish people, people are. can be. Like, why like, are you buying 4,000 rolls of tissue? That's four, so silly. You know what I mean? Do you think that, because I've selfish. heard a lot of um, believers, yeah. I've heard a lot of believers say that um, this is maybe God punishing. Do you think God is punished? This is punishment? No, do you think no, that he's no. sending the but he, he, he never said that. he would do that again honestly he never yeah, said he would what do you think like Dana? um i agree with Dana. he said that he would never do that again but i feel like it's a test yeah, yeah. It's a test. i agree it's Definitely. a test of your faith so it's what can you learn in this test um patience. not to patience and not to panic and to, to trust sit the down process. and trust I mean, the process in every, trust god absolutely absolutely in everything i mean you can go back to scripture it does the scripture not say be still and know that i'm god all by myself. All by be still. That's be still all you have to do. I'm God. I'm a Couple weeks. Danny, what do you still. think? What do you think that that you can learn in this? If if this is a test from God, what are you learning? What's like that we all just need to like stay calm. It's not that big of a deal, you know. If you know God, then yeah. You know. I hear a lot of people saying only people that are scared are those that don't know God. But I'm going to be honest, when at first I wasn't scared, and then I went through an honest moment of yeah, of shaky. like. I'm still human. I'm still human. So I'm like, and mm. so, I don't know. It's kind of like when we had that whole Catalina experience yeah. when we was on this boat. Like, <laughs> I, I knew. don't know about that. Still, nah, like, I don't yeah. know about that. That's a whole different we story. We still be taking out any Right, moment. right. I, I'm, like, I'm human and I trust God, but still I have human yeah. feelings. And so it's okay for y'all to be scared. I'm not saying it's, it's wrong. Situation. It's a scary situation. It's okay no, no, for it's you to that. be scared. But what is not been. okay is for you to panic and for you to just throw in the towel. This is not the time for believers to throw in the towel. Instead, this is the time for believers actually to unite mm -hmm. and use the power that God has given us mm -hmm. to help lift this world up out of this thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm kind of with him on the whole, like, the people that are not panicking are the believers because, like, you, you know that... Yeah. I ain't gonna let that happen yeah. to you. Like you're a child. Yeah. You know your story don't end here. Yeah. You know your story. Yeah. Don't you know what you for. Like, you got too much to live for. You got too much going on. God has so much in store for you for you to sit here and be panicking over a little flu. Over a little flu. Over a little yeah. flu. Yeah. Again, flu. we're not downplaying. I'm not downplaying because it's, it's not very just a little serious. flu to some people. It's very very serious. But, but what she's saying is, yeah. uh, some people know this story. We recently were on a uh, boat, on a uh, yacht, mm -hmm. on our way to an island and. And the boat um we were in some heavy water and it was turbulent to say the least it was like and in that moment yeah. she kept saying <laughs> i know god is not making us fish food our story doesn't end here and i mean we just took some recent um plane rides and the turbulence was crazy and all i could replay in my mind was i know that god is just not gonna let me be a uh bird food bird food <laughs> or, or just drop out a plane and even in this i know that god is just not going to let my story end Absolutely. with a virus with, a, with, a, with an ending now Absolutely. yes he may be trying to get attention get our attention and yes there may be something he's trying to tell us and this is the time for us to go somewhere and get silent right. and listen and, and listen. find out what that is but this is not is. the time for time us to be foolish mm -hmm. and, and make rash decisions you know um danny do you have anything in closing I do. Yes, what do you have? And this is not the time to be selfish and be greedy. It's the time take to up, think of others. And take up all of the tissue paper, all of the... <laughs> you mad about the tissue? <laughs> I'm not mad about the tissue. And the hand uh, and the puzzle <laughs> and all of that other stuff. You can make your own hand sanitizer. Aloe, aloe vera, alcohol, and 
Okay. You know what? And thank you to so many of the companies like here. The local stores are opening up at earlier hours yeah. and oh, they're yeah. dedicating certain amount of times to yeah. elderly people that need to go out. The girls and I are going around. They don't know this, but today we're going to go around to some of the seniors in the neighborhood and ask them if they have grocery lists or things that they I, need to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually know I just posted on my story last night um a food shelter um I can't remember what it's called but if you go on my Instagram you'll see it uh, it's a food shelter and we should be donating I feel like we should be donating food to like I said earlier yeah. like kids there's kids that literally depend on just school lunch yeah home, pastor so. Jamal Bryant shout out to him new birth is feeding thousands of families yes. um and yes. kids who are affected that yeah. only eat at school they're the church is actually doing That's what right. the church is supposed yeah. to be doing um there I is a think about that. there is a so alcohol much. company that that makes like beer or alcohol or something I, uh whiskey or something i'm not sure what it is mm -hmm. but anyway what they're doing is they're stopping production on yeah. making alcohol and they're using all the alcohol that they have to make sanitizer oh, and wow. i heard that they're giving That's it cool. out for free and that's, that's even cool. better. They said as long as they can, you know, give it out and they have the aloe, they'll they'll continue to do that. So there's some great things that are coming out. Don't yeah, just watch yeah. what social media is putting out because social media and the internet is makes things they, worse. Case. They will put out the worst case scenarios and in those worst case scenarios will cause people to get in the uproar and it will cause panic and fear and then people start raiding the, the grocery stores. Yeah. Um yeah. I feel like in this time you also have to be like you have to know like the homeless people like you you have to donate because like these people that always have like on skin roll like how they have people to go out there every week people are like, scared to go outside go out. nobody's going outside to feed or the food or the food out, so, that's like, thrown in the uh, yeah. thrown in the trash and you know if, if, you're, if you are one of those people that were was panic buying we're not judging you for panic buying you know it's scary but if you have an extra, you should definitely be yeah, willing to donate yeah. and willing to help somebody else it's, out. That's I the whole point. I think that point. everybody should, like, should not be scared but cautious. Yeah. This is a very word, scary man. time, but whatever you do, do no. not panic. Yeah. Do not panic. <laughs> I think because that this panic is... leads to stress. stress, and stress leads to illness, just illness and that's yeah. just the worst thing, yeah. and I feel like... And this well, is something you just have to practice yeah. for life stories. Um, so this teachable moment is super long. long. And I think that the best way to end this teachable moment is in prayer. Uh, like, in a, a, a make teachable lemons. moment. Make lemons, make oh, lemons. The teach, what did you get? What did Danny say? What's your, What's your tip? Oh, um, don't be scared, be cautious. Yes. You said make lemons. Make lemons, make lemons. What's your tip? I say trust God. Um come back to me <laughs> trust, be still I say, and know that i'm god that's good that's and, and don't panic pray trust the process yes. mm -hmm. and if you don't know who god is mm -hmm. if you don't know who jesus is for yourself it's never too late oh i got my i got my okay. do not panic you can be 88 <laughs> all right let's pray we're gonna pray for you guys father in the name of jesus we just come to you with thanksgiving in our heart because we know that you hear our cries and we know that you're not going to abandon us. You're not leaving us as orphans, that you love us and you love us enough to feed us when we're hungry, clothe us when we need clothing and provide the shelter that we need, Lord. Our prayer is that you send a calmness over the world, over That's the right. earth that you created, Lord. I pray that you send a stillness, calmness and a healing, Lord, over your whole universe, Lord. We know that you have the whole world in your hands, Lord, and we just trust you in that. And in that, I pray that those that are still scared and those that have fear can rest in you lord i pray that we continue to do our part and that this is over sooner than like you know what lord i pray that this is over in your timing yes, i'm not going to rush your process lord you do what you do and we'll be still and hear from you it's in your son jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. father in the name of jesus i just pray that lord that you just cover us and protect us and let everybody know not to panic and that everything is all right lord and that you send your angels you send your yeah. healing over this whole earth lord thank in the jesus. name of jesus father lord amen. Amen. thank you jesus for being our backbone and our oh. safety net our trampoline when we're jumping oh, thank that's you jesus good. for always being there to lean on to trust to, to know that you're never going anywhere you're never going to stop loving me lord and i just thank you jesus for it Thank Lord, you, we call on you as our healer, our protector, our guidance, Thank our you, alpha and omega. We yeah, rebuke okay. sickness, illness, Lord, disease, Lord, panic, Jesus. in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I your, pray. Sorry, man. Your word says that you'll never leave or forsake us. And we know that. We keep that with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
Jesus. Lord, I pray that in this time of struggle, Lord, that you send comforting to those who need it, Lord. Yes. I pray that you let them know that they are not alone in this, Lord. They, they will get out of it, and it's no need to panic. Amen. 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 All right. Bye, y'all. We love y'all. Bye, y'all. This video is long. Bye. Bye. Yeah,